today's video is going to be a quick little haul, which I have not done in a hot minute on my channel. I have things from, most of my things are from Ulta, but then I have some from TJ Maxx, and I'm going to sprinkle in one thing from TikTok shop and one thing from Walmart. So let's just go ahead and do it. Okay, I have the most things from Ulta. Did I say that already? I don't know if I said that already. <laughs> to me, it's the most exciting, so we're gonna start there. And I have already used a bunch of these because I just couldn't wait to dive into it, so that's why they're out of their packaging and why they look a little dirty already. <laughs> the first thing I have is this e.l.f. Um, it's just like one of those sponge planchette looking things that everyone's using now. I don't know what the hype is. It's good, good I guess. I don't know, to me it seems a little fat. Like, look how big this is. I don't know, I mean, it's good, but I think it was like $4, so, I mean, I guess if you want one in your collection, go for it, but like, I don't know, I feel like you could kind of skip that, because I just use my beauty blender and go underneath like I need to, but whatever, gets the job done. <laughs> Next is this L'Oreal True Match Lumi Glotion. Okay, I was like, am I gonna say that right? Lumi Glotion. This is in the shade 902 Light Glow. It's basically just like, a serum like lotiony form with um like glitter specks in it not really glitter like more like shimmer i did put it on underneath this foundation i don't even know if you could tell because i use a whole lot of products i don't know if um you can even tell underneath the product but i mean it, it is pretty um but i don't think it's a must because I, like i said i mean i use it today and i can't 100% tell because I did put highlighter on so I mean I think if you're more of like less is more with foundation or makeup or whatever I think you would really like this but I put so many other products on top of this I'm like where did it go but I still like it maybe for like a light coverage day or you know something like that I mean it's definitely worth a try next is a repurchase this is the essence lash princess um in the shade I don't know black I guess um it's one of the greatest mascaras I've tried. Um, I actually have this on my lashes today. I did two coats, so you can see how well it does. Um, and it's really inexpensive. Next is this, I think it's Tarte, yeah. Tarte Fake Awake. It's just like a light eyeliner pencil. Um, I already swatched something earlier. I'm horrible at swatching. So it just looks like that. But then it also, oh. <laughs> got the tip off. But then it also has this like smudgy side to it as well, which is super weird to me. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with that. Um, because when I'm like, I don't know when I smudge, like, am I supposed to do that in my waterline? I don't know. We'll see. I haven't used that one yet. Cause I'm during, like during the weekends, I'm like a dark eyeliner girl. Next is this elf halo glow beauty one contour this is a cream contour um this is in the shade tan deep and i do have this on today and i really like it i will say it does kind of dry down pretty fast um so at first i put like dots all over my forehead and then i was like blending here and here and by the time i got up there it's like okay these dots aren't going away so i will caution you to me um because i've seen everyone do the dots so i was like let me just try the dots i prefer for me um, to just go straight in just like one line and then here and then a line that's what I think works better for me um, but you try it however you want if you didn't even know there's different ways to do it there you go <laughs> I really like this though only used it one time but so far I feel like it's actually given me some structure so okay this is the ColourPop Pap, <laughs> the ColourPop Ultra Matte Lip in the shade Beeper and this is what I have on my lips today I have used the shade gosh it's been years, 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 years ago when I used to love ColourPop. This is the probably the first purchase from them um, that I made in like, I don't know, a couple years. And I really like this. The formula is really lightweight and just not so drying on your lips, which I do enjoy. It doesn't like get all up in the cracks of your lips. Um, and it's just like a nice dark uh, shade for fall. And um, we'll see how it does with eating, but so far I really like this formula. Okay, 
Okay. This is the Benefit Roller Liner Eyeliner. It's just a black liner. I got this because it was on like the Ulta Beauty um, like 21 day sale or something like that. It was half off and I really needed a new eyeliner. So I have this on today. I don't, I tried to do winged eyeliner today and then I just like had to scrub it off because I'm so bad at it. So I just need to cut my losses and never do it again because it's just not a thing for me. But this gets like a really, really thin line. I really do like this. Next is the Essence Brighten Up Banana Powder. I don't know why I wanted this. I just wanted to try it. I mean, it's okay feeling. I haven't used this yet on my face. Um, I used another product today, which I'm fixing to show you. But I mean, I think this is good for like every day. Um, I mean, hopefully, but we'll see. I haven't used it yet, so that's that's him. Okay, this is what I set my face with today. This is the Laura Mercier Translucent powder i'm sure everyone knows about this i have never tried him but i've heard so much and i really wanted to and i love it this is what i have um set my face with today i think it kind of just gives me a nice like airbrush looking feeling going on um can't really see too many of my pores and i've had this makeup on for a little bit now and it's not settling into fine lines or anything so he's a win for me it was a little expensive it was 24 dollars i think for this but um there's obviously a lot of product in here and translucent powder lasts a really long time. Next, I am wearing this today as well. This is the Fenty Beauty Kilowatt Highlighter, but this one is the one that's like two of them. There's Mean Money and Hustla Baby. This is what it looks like. So we have Mean Money on this side and Hustla Baby on this side. So it's supposed to be like, uh, let me put this in front of my face. Maybe it'll like light in. You can kind of see there. You can kind of see. It's like a champagne-y looking. Let me swatch it. I'm, I'm just a terrible beauty person because I literally can't swatch anything to save my life. So one side, here they are right here. So the more muted one, um, it's supposed to be like that. You're supposed to have a very muted one for like every day and then the more intense one for, you know, like going out or whatever, which is, I have a mixture of both of them on my face because I like the way they both look together um, on top of each other. So I put it in all the places I would normally put highlight and then on my forehead, my nose and um, above my lip on my above my lip and on my chin. So I really do like this. This was also part of the um, 21 Beauty day sale thing. Next is the foundation I'm wearing right now, which I think I like. It's just a little bit more light coverage than I normally go for, so I had to build it up just a little bit, but that's okay. Um, this is the Fenty Beauty Ease Drop Blur and Smooth Tint Stick. It does say tint stick, I know, but I just still wanted to try it. Look at the packaging, it's so pretty. Looks like this, it just comes in a stick form, obviously. The, I will say that the consistency is very, very nice and um, smooth feeling. Like, it's, it's a really pretty formula. Um, the only bad thing I can say right now is that you have to build it up, but it's tint stick, Carson. Not a full coverage foundation. <laughs> These next two products are foundations as well. <laughs> I just realized I bought three foundations. I love foundation, so I can't help it. This is the Youth Foria Foundation. I know nothing about this brand um, other than the fact it had a lot of reviews. This is in the shade 330. I'm planning on reviewing this or doing a first impression, so that's all I'll say about him right now. It is a nice glass bottle though. This is the e.l.f. Halo Glow Liquid Filter in the shade, I don't know, medium for medium. I hope this is not going to be too dark for me. They didn't really have a lot of shades and I'm honestly kind of scared to try this because online I had like like just it was very shimmery looking so we'll see but I also want to do a first impression thing on that one as well. Moving on to TJ Maxx. The first thing I got is such a random thing. Um, this is the Star Wars Ahsoka pop. I love Star Wars and Ahsoka is one of my She's probably like my number two favorite character. I love her. So I saw her sitting on a shelf and I'm like, I have to have her because um, I have little um, Grogu in my beauty room somewhere. I can't see him now, uh, but he has like a butterfly and I just, I love everything Star Wars. Next is this black bodysuit. Oh, that is the under, that's the crotch part. This is just what it looks like. It's just a black bodysuit. Um, this was $12.99. I plan on wearing this at Disney here soon. Next are candles that I got. So I don't have any fall candles left, so I needed to get some. 
Um, this is the Hocus Pocus Forest Night. Really cool packaging, I think. It smells like I'm really horrible at describing candles. It just smells really good. Don't skip on TJ Maxx's candles because they do have some really good ones. Um, this was $9.99, by the way. All right, next is these falling leaves. It smells like, um, kind of like, what does it smell like? It just smells like fall. It smells really good. <laughs> so bad at describing scents. This is this was $7.99. So $9.99, $7.99, and they're like regular size Bath and Body Works sizes. This one is called Apple. And it's okay, this gives me an um, explanation on here. Brown sugar glazed apples blended with cinnamon, golden clove, clove, and sweet caramel. And it was hand poured. Look at this cool little top. That's cool. Oh yes, it just smells like apples. I love like apple, pumpkin apple is my favorite scent from Bath and Body Works and that's just like, love that. Last candle from Bath, from Bath and Body Works, from TJ Maxx is this large, it's almost as big as my head. This is um, a wooden wick candle, so it's one of those that crackles. This is in the shade Velvet Musk. So it's, it looks like that. It's just got like a nice deep like kind of manly scent but not like too in your face um this one this apple one was $9.99 and then this one is $15 so it was the more expensive one but Bath and Body Works candles for these size normally are like $25 I think so you're definitely getting a deal with um TJ Maxx's candles last thing from TJ Maxx this really nice um framed saying by F. Scott Fitzgerald. I'll read it to you really quick. It says, <laughs> like I'm a teacher. It says beauty. She was beautiful for the way she thought. She was beautiful for the sparkle in her eyes when she talked about something she loved. She was beautiful for her ability to make other people smile, even if she was sad. No, she wasn't beautiful for something as temporary as her looks. She was beautiful deep down to her soul. I just thought that was really, really, just a beautiful saying and i want to put it up in here somewhere i want to do something different with this background so just ignore it for now um so i i just loved it it was like kind of inspiring um because beauty it does fade but what's inside is forever so um this was 29.99 so it was the most expensive thing i got next is my one thing i got from walmart i haven't been to walmart in forever but we were going there for like some travel stuff and I saw this puzzle. We love to do puzzles in the winter time. Um, so I got this, um, it's like a city's collection and it's just Paris. I just thought it was cool, a thousand pieces. Last thing is from TikTok shop and I got roped into buying this. I just saw it one time. I was like, I'm so tired of hearing or like seeing everyone talk about this. Let me just get it. And it is this like, I don't even know what it's called. It's some sort of perfume, like Persian looking thing. It has this, writing on it that I don't know what it says and it really does live up to the hype let me just tell you it smells so good and I've already gotten compliments on it the so it's not a spray it is like one of these stick things um but it just smells so good I will say that it was it's not like so overpowering so not everyone's gonna notice the smell does, does that make sense like if there's other smells going on or you know whatever it could be drowned out by those so i put a lot more on today to see if anyone else notices um hopefully i didn't put too much but yeah this one it's definitely like a buildable scent um and i think it was like 60 dollars. but yeah definitely worth the hype i will i will give you that all right you guys well that was everything that i had for today it was a super quick little haul i can't wait to dive into more of this makeup and see what i think especially those foundations and um these candles I'm going to light one later tonight, that's for sure. I really hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, let me know if you see anything here that you want to grab for yourself or something that you want me to do a review on or whatever. I will be more than glad to do that for you guys. And I hope you have a good week or weekend whenever you're watching this. And I will see y'all in my next video. Bye.